This is cute. <laughs> The bus was a bit delayed uh, because of traffic on the uh, highway like between Brisbane and Gold Coast but I'm here and just out exploring that. It's so nice so far so just gonna literally get a uh, walk around get some dinner and meet my friend that I met in Hawaii. Last time I was in here I'll do a room tour. I've got the bottom bunk, yes. This is the room, it's pretty cute. I've got a TV and a fridge. Yeah, beds look quite small though but hey we'll figure it out. You've got little lockers underneath your bed, which is ideal. And then I put my suitcase in there. It's very cute here. Oh, and the bathrooms are cute. Whoa. Yeah. Exactly. I'm just freaking out how pretty it is. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Ah, I'm trying to walk over the logs. Literally freaking out. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take it on fire. Yeah, it's so cool. Yeah, look at that. We made it to the lighthouse. What did you say? I wanted a nice sunset. <laughs> Stop. doing but it's cute I want it no too alone for that it's fine <laughs> <laughs> there you go we just walked up there how good doing local things with my local friend here how exciting okay we're playing this like bowls in a way video look at this Christmas beetle oh it's gone Huh? Christmas beetle, where'd oh. it go? Well, oh, don't stand on it, don't stand on it, don't stand on it. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas beetle. It only comes out, look at its colours. You want to get moved? There we go. Wow, that is so Oh! <laughs> okay, good morning. I think it's my last morning, like, on the, on, on the East Coast. I'm in Sydney till New Year, but where my friend lives in Sydney is kind of like in the country a bit. Not near the beach or near the coast or anything. Um, I want to watch the sunrise on the beach. Can I have an see one? I haven't seen one on the East Coast yet, so I thought Byron would be the perfect, perfect place to do it. I was going to do it in Surface Paradise, but it's so early there because uh, they haven't got daylight savings, so the sunrise is at like 4.40 in the morning, whereas here it's at like 5.50, so I'm on the way to the beach now to watch it, so it's just getting light, so I should be just in time, like a two minute walk. All the birds are coming out, so you know it's a good sign. Um, and then I'll go back to bed probably because I literally got four, like, four hours sleep last night, so I'll watch the sunrise. Get back to bed for a couple of hours before I check out and then come and explore around here. Wow. During the day. So the sky's looking nice already. I'm gonna head down to the beach. Down here. And just chill, I reckon. I'm not, I'm not the only one here luckily, there's a couple of people. Not massive, not busy busy, but a couple of early morning rises, like that one there. Running or whatever they're doing, being way more active than me. Oh look at that. Whoop! Oh I love the sand on my feet. Oh look at the moon. This is so nice, this is a great idea. Wow. I'm obsessed with how the lighting is hitting this puddle. I'm going for a dip, but that is so nice. Wow. Let's go dip my toes in. The water here is so nice. And the waves aren't like huge right now, but it's gorgeous. Oh, I'm in love with this place. And I've got my new water bottle. How good. Yay! Woo, chilly. Chilly, chilly. Just look again. Okay, I'm going back to bed now for a couple of hours, but I just can't. I don't want to leave it. It's so nice. I need some more sleep so I can enjoy the day. 
packed up once again, I'm going to put my bags in storage whilst I explore Byron Bay before I head to Ballina on the public transport later. So just, just want to show you though, I forgot to show you yesterday, my bed was B again. I love it. This is my friend's suggestion for breakfast. She gave me three suggestions. It's number one, but it's too busy, so I'm going to go to the next one. Looks so nice though. This is the second spot she recommends. It's also quite busy, but I think it's a bit, looking a bit more promising. So it was still quite busy. I'm on the, I'm on the wait list for 20 minutes. So I'm just going to go for a little wonder and then go back. But it looked nice in there. The other place looked nice too, but that one just looked a little bit more um, like enclosed. Not enclosed, I can't really explain it, but I've chosen bay leaf. So many choices. Oh, it's so cute down here. Has very uh, Santa Cruz vibes. This was the third place my friend recommended. I'm not going to come here, but FYI, if you're in Byron, this is another place you recommended. Looks cool. It's more, it's more like bakery food for sandwiches, which I didn't want. I wanted uh, like an actual like cooked egg some, uh, dish, but it does look really nice. This place looks really nice too. It's giving you all the Byron brunch ideas because it's a great place to have brunch. So pretty. This bakery looks good too. So much good food, yum. Yum. And back here during the daytime when the tide is much higher. And it's so much busier. Wow. leaving the beach after like three hours of sitting there it was so nice the water's amazing the waves aren't that big it's warm it's clear and there's oh little fishy swimming around so nice here my oh, goodness two vegan tofu rolls and a fanta yes post beach goodness this suitcase is so heavy and broken like the legs aren't working like the wheels aren't working properly and it's i've still got like 10 kg of stuff that my friend has in sydney I don't know how on earth I'm going to get them out around the rest of the trip. I'm out to bin stuff, to be honest. <sighs> Too much. Too much. So I've just dragged myself out of bed. I was so ready to go to sleep, but I thought I'd come and explore a little bit. About now, most shops are closed because it's past five, but just walk around, see what it's like, and then get some food, because I, I should eat something small. And then, honestly, have an early night, because I didn't sleep well last night, because I got up for the sunrise and stuff. Just have an early night, to be honest. Um, and then I've got to be up tomorrow quite early again to get to the airport for my flight's at 9. This is a cute area called the Wharf. There's some lovely views. But I think I'm going to go to Woolies and just get some food from there. Because I probably wanted to sit in a restaurant. I want to go back into bed. I'm quite tired. Treating myself to all the reduced chocolate. Yeah. Dinner sorted with my reduced chocolate from the... Uh, Christmas section of the hotel just there. So today started off terrible. I couldn't sleep last night because it was so noisy here. Yeah, like this is such a why do you have a, why would you have a, like a hotel room above such a noisy like, above a pub? Fair enough, but this was like playing like club music. I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't sleep very well. Um, there's no there's no list. I've got to carry my massive bag down the stairs, and then like metal stairs out the back, and it's just started raining. Like torrential downpour, so I'm probably going to slip and die. That's good. And then I had to eat my strawberries in the fridge this morning that I bought yesterday. I bought uh, half of them yesterday. I got the rest this morning, and they're frozen. <sighs> Why? Just the little things. In we come to Sydney again, ready for some New Year's antics. Okay, I'm off the train now. Just getting the ferry to Manly, where I'm staying. Put my bag in the thing, and then make my way back into Sydney to meet my friends. All aboard the Manly Ferry! Yep. Yum. That was crazy, I just ran into my friend that I met in Hawaii, Hannah. She's in my room in Hawaii. Let me hang out in, bon in Byron Bay because I got there. I knew she lived there. And I text, text her saying where I was and she was just across the road. So I hung out with her and did the sun set, set hike up to the lighthouse with her. And I was just walking to my hostel now and she was literally in a cafe in, Byron, uh, in bon uh, Manly. So I had uh, lunch with her. So funny. And now we're here. Okay, I'm just walking in now. Do a little bag check. It's like a little festival, I suppose. And then we've got the opera house on the other side, so I'm gonna go find my friends. 
we've got food trucks, but I might try and get some food from our supermarket if I can. Okay, you got Harbour Bridge there, and then Sydney Opera House there. We're gonna we're going like somewhere. My, my friends are down by the water, so we can get both views, which would be sick. It's so fucking busy. We can't find a spot because it's so busy with people. We found a spot. You can't really see the harbour, the Opera House, but it's just there. When the fireworks get started, we'll go round the tree and the Harbour Bridge just to see it. This is the line to get into Luna Park. You can see it lit up. It's a but... Oh my god. Really wanting food, but the line for the food truck. Multiple different ones. So long. We are getting closer. And the lights are starting to come on. We can do this. I will get food. I will. I gave up with food for now because I literally hadn't even moved halfway in the line and the 9 p.m. No, it's, it's half past 8 so I'm going to miss the 9 p.m. fireworks and I kind of want to watch both of them here and uh, I needed a wee so I gave up. I'm hoping, hoping later it'll be less busy but whatever. I'm, like, I'm not in the world if I don't get food. As you can see it's a bat upside down in this tree. That is so cool. Yeah. Look, right there. Started moving, oh, it's moving, there we go, it's gone. Oh. Having one of those balconies would be ideal. Just found out there's like way more food trucks around the corner down the line and we were stood in this bloody line for ages so <sighs> such idiots. Well I'm an idiot. Found some food, it was way quicker to get. We've come back down to sit here for a while, but then when we've got like two hours to kill, when time gets closer we're gonna go back over there so we can get the bridge in as well. Because the other spot where we were earlier you couldn't see the fireworks behind the thing. The little boat display. Okay, finally pretty much back at the hostel. You hear the birds? Yeah, that was effort. Like they just they didn't have enough buses, no one knew where to send me. And then when I finally got the bus, like every other bus was coming, but the one I needed was like every, there was like two of every other bus, four or three before the, my one. And then there was like, was so many people wanted to get this bus and it wasn't, there's not enough of them. Like people couldn't fit on, it was ridiculous. Luckily I managed to get on one, like I was on it, but it was insane. Morning, happy new year. So the weather in Manly today feels exactly like the weather in Manly about, about five years ago, when I was here five and a half years ago. I was here last time in May 2018 uh, after I finished working on the cruise ships um, and it was obviously pretty much winter then and the weather was basically the same. Probably even a little bit warmer then to be honest, it's a bit chilly. Um, beautiful, but haven't been able to fully appreciate it both times I've been here. But the fireworks were amazing. I'm so glad I ticked it off at this item. Probably wouldn't do it again because it's a lot of waiting around and like they are amazing but it's just so many people and you know whatever. Uh, I've done it now, if I was going to do it again I'd like, like get a boat or something where you kind of have like a view where you get pictures, pictures with yourself and the fireworks and stuff and like really enjoy it rather than just put around with loads of people. But yeah, definitely an incredible experience and a dick. 
I was hoping to go for a swim and like, have like a bit of a beach day, but I could still swim. It's a bit cold, a bit refreshing. I can't be bothered now, I don't want to get all wet. Seeing as it's not like the vibe to sit out in the sun, so I'm just going to go for a walk around and explore for a bit for the day before going to the gym. Because uh, the gym is basically where I need to get the train back to the... I'm going to get the, the ferry back across to Sydney, go to the gym with my suitcase, like leave at the gym, and then have a shower and stuff there, and then get the, get the train from there back to the airport. It's easy, so that's my day, basically. Heading to that beach there. I just kept walking and now I'm on, on the walk to North Head, which is where you could have watched the fireworks from Manly last night, be quite far away. It's like a big peninsula uh, that takes you out around Manly, you can kind of see Sydney from it. So I'm going to go walk around there and then maybe meet a friend for lunch and then go to the gym. There's a turkey in there doing a little. I don't know, nesting thing. <laughs> this is nice. Just crawled through this cute little gate thing up to the next section. Well, this is a bit bloody stunning, isn't it? Go on, Australia. This is pretty nice. Okay, so I'm not sure what, what you'd call this area, shrubbery, but we crossed the road into this sort of mesh section, just following the signs that say North Head. I'm hoping there's some nice views. This is a very strange area. I've come out of the bush and come to a sculpture house. I'm not really sure. I mean, I'm just following the signs the way it says City Lookout, which is this way now. North Fort Road, no. City Lookout, yes, yeah, so this way but it's very strange. And we're back in the bushland. Looks like Costa Rica. I don't get eaten by a snake. Also, I don't know how I've ended up walking on like an hour's hike. I literally was gonna do the little walk from Manly to Shelley Beach. And then I just kept going. And now I'm walking on like an hour's hike to the city viewpoint. Hey, I feel good, but not how my day was, I had no, had no plans, but not how I thought my day would go, to be honest. Somebody I know was bitten by a tick. Her husband was bitten by a tick. Well, they are. And now he's... Hang on, I'll make it. Looks like might like the UK here. Oh, that's cool. I find this mildly entertaining. It's a cafe. <laughs> So people are going, loads of people are sitting there going to field day today, which is like a day festival on New Year's Day. Wish I was going because Rufus de Soul are playing and I love Rufus de Soul, but I have seen him before, but I love them, I've seen him again. But I knew it was on, but I didn't book it because I was by myself and I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be with anybody that can go with me and whatever, and I'm not really, I'm not really the kind of person who goes to festival alone. Um, and then I ended up booking a flight to Melbourne because it was cheaper on today, it was cheaper today. And I, I could have got me people in the hostel because people were there, but I didn't know I was staying in the hostel for the last minute, and I'll look at my neck. Um, so obviously I didn't know I was staying there and stuff. Um, yes, yeah, so I didn't book it and I'm fine at the moment anyway. Um, but I would love to go because I love the festival. And it's only a day, so like, it's fine, you can, you can just go hard. And I love Rufus, but oh well. Okay, Sydney, I'm done with you for a while. Over and out. Off to Melbourne we go.